Kitty Caracciolo and I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to tie a multi-loop bow like the one on this project. You need a strip of ribbon that you can use to tie around the loops after you've created your bow. I'm going to pull off enough ribbon here so that I don't have to keep worrying about that. I'm going to start and leave enough tail. I'm, I'm going to have to end up cutting a little of it off, but I want to have enough to hold it in place. And I'm going to squeeze the ribbon together. And I'm going to form a loop by bringing the front side to that ribbon and squeezing it in place as well. Now I have formed a loop. I've got my front right side of the ribbon together on both sides. Now I'm going to create the second loop by bringing this up and squeezing it in place. And I'm going to make this bow just a little bit bigger than the one on the project so that you can see more clearly what I'm doing. So I've created two loops now. And we're just going to repeat this for as many loops as we want. We want to continue turning the loops and bringing them in to each other. And creating the next loop. Now for this project right now, I'm going to create a three loop bow. So there will be three loops on each side. Watch again. I'm bringing it, the two front sides together, and I'm going to squeeze them in place. I'm going to cut my ribbon off right there. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm pulling this tight to hold it in place so that I can tie my tie around it. I'm not going to tie it perfectly tight because we're going to want to work with it before we do that. See, I'm a little off kilter, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can keep pulling this back and forth and creating the loops that I want for my bow. Some are big, some are small. I'm going to just pull them in place before I tighten this up. I think I've got it just the way I want it. And remember, nothing is perfect. I'm going to tighten it really tight and tie it again in the back. Now, You can leave these tails or you can cut these tails. And you can work with these loops to make them lay the way you want them on your card front. Don't be afraid to turn the ribbon loop around if, it's, if it works better for you. So I'm just going to cut this off and have it be a little tail for at the top of the ribbon. I'm going to have two tails here and one here. I've moved it around and there you have a ribbon. It's very similar. I made it just a little larger so you could see it more easily. The perfect little bow. I'm going to do it one more time. Take your ribbon, squeeze it in together, bring the right sides of the ribbon together and squeeze to create your first loop. Bring the second loop up with your front pieces of ribbon together and squeeze. 
Repeat that as many times as you want for your project. And believe me, you can do this with your Christmas presents and make huge bows. Just keep bringing the right side in to meet the right side and squeeze. I'm just going to make this one, oops, I'm going to make this one two loops on each side. I have another little piece cut here. I'm going to just tie it around. It gets tricky, but you can hold it in place until you get it where you want it. Don't tighten it all the way because you're going to want to work with that before you do. We're going to pull the loops to make them just the way we want them. That's cute. Now I'm going to tie the back. Don't be afraid to play with the ribbon to get the loops the way you want them before you tie it really tight. So here you have a nice little two loop bow. You can cut the tails off. You can do whatever you want. I like having several tails, but you can just make it be just the way you want it. The one thing you want to do is be sure that you have all of your ribbon ends trimmed perfectly so that you don't have any ragged edges showing on your project. There we have a perfect little two loop on each side bow and a three loop on each side bow. And you can go on and on with as many loops as you want. But tying a multi-loop ribbon for a regular size card needs to be tied small enough like this one so that it doesn't overpower your project. I hope this has been helpful.